Filmmaker's Tale, take one. I believe that humans have this passion and a desire to be makers, creators and designers. And we only really find fulfillment when we tap into that. My name is Konrad Kopec and I'm a filmmaker. The way I watched movies when I was a kid was completely different to everybody else. When my friends and family enjoyed the plot and special effects, I would look for mistakes and try to work out how each scene was filmed. Filmmaking was so much down the line for me though. It was so much later in life. Where I come from, the education is absolutely the most important thing for everyone to have. Very rarely people follow their dreams and passions and often stay stagnant in the day-to-day -day struggle. As a child, I was told to become a doctor or a lawyer to have a good life. And in the end, I ended up in possibly the most technical and the least creative field there is. I truly loved my career in IT. Creating original software allowed me to make tools that nobody else in the world had access to. It was great and even exciting at times, but my life was missing something. I truly had no idea what it was at the time, but I was about to find out what my soul was longing for. It's the little things in life that matter to me, the things that we see so often that we forget how special they are. This is also what I love capturing the most things that we can all relate to and feel a part of. Every filmmaker dreams of capturing something amazing, something big. To me, their relationships with other people and goals they achieve are the big beautiful moments worth remembering. One of these very special moments in my life was the day when my wife graduated and became a fashion designer. We wanted to somehow capture the final collection displayed in London at the fashion show, but at the time we didn't know anyone with a camera and our own filming and photography skills were just non-existent. And this particular moment in time is exactly when I decided to buy my first camera, which I still have. This exact camera started my journey into creative arts. It has directly led to who I am right now and begun my transformation from the logical, rule-obeying tech head into the creative rebel I strive to be. Cameras and lenses are absolutely essential to every filmmaker, but they are also this massive, just huge obstacle because they cost so much. This is why I started collecting and repairing old cameras as well as lenses that came with them. Most 40-year-old lenses cost next to nothing, can be adjusted to almost every camera and most importantly allowed me to work on a huge variety of glass and techniques. My camera and lens collection grows every day. I currently own over 50 vintage cameras and well over 60 lenses. On top of all that, I also have the new cameras and lenses that I use every day in filming. There is one thing I always tell my students, and it's that a camera body um, gets old and goes away with time, uh, but a lens is forever. Although vintage lenses uh, need a lot more attention and patience, the reward from using them is very much worth it. Photography is a starting point for almost every filmmaker. I personally know many people who started from photography and then later in life moved on to filmmaking. It's almost a natural progression for someone like myself. 
undeniably the best thing about it is that you can take almost all the skills from photography and apply them directly into filmmaking. Especially that nowadays the equipment used for semi-professional filmmaking is almost exactly the same as what one would use for photography. Which is even more reason to keep and collect vintage lenses. Filmmaking became much more than just a hobby for me as soon as I started teaching it, as well as photography. My students have won several awards since joining the community I created, which really warms my heart because I don't only get to see them develop as creators, but also get to know them as people, individually and as a group. The most enjoyable part of filmmaking and photography for me is showing the normal everyday things and situations in a completely new light and with a new meaning. For example, everyone knows what a sunrise looks like, but barely anyone had actually seen it. The moment just before the blue and the golden hour, when the first sunlight is making the world come alive, and I'm the only person to actually see it and capture it, well, that's the feeling that only filmmakers and photographers know well. It's incredible. Possibly the biggest part of my filmmaking career was the time just before the, the recent tribulations. My wife and I decided to travel to as many countries as we possibly could and make short films from each location. Among other places we've been to Iceland, Spain, Portugal, France, Germany, Italy, Greece and all over the UK. I would say this was the time when I was the happiest. I was able to visit all these beautiful places with someone I love and perpetuate these memories on film. I personally don't believe in this big ultimate dream culmination of a career. I much prefer constant development, um, gaining new skills and knowledge, as well as just growing as a person. One could even say that not having an end goal is my end goal. I'm extremely excited to see where will filmmaking and photography take me and how will my path change over the next few years. I have big, constantly changing plans to grow my community of filmmakers and photographers, both online and here in Wathurst. Through it all, I believe there is hope. When you're pursuing the passion and things you love doing, you will find that fulfillment. You will find out who you were meant to be. My name is Konrad and I'm a filmmaker. <laughs>